Yo, yo, yo. Testing, test. Testing, test. Testing, testing. There we go. I can hear him now. Ready, did it. She boy, Professor Pepper is back with another recap. Re -re recap. Um, I did do a recap earlier or yesterday. Um, I didn't hit the right record button, so it didn't get recorded. So now I'm coming in and trying to throw this one on there. But uh, just a review. DXY is still bullish, still giving out the gas. Um, I don't pay DXY. I just look at it for confluence. Come from the weekly open, um, open batters, found some resistance, and been pushing bullets ever since. So with that in mind, <clears throat> I look to my other pairs and compare, especially like DU, bearish, compared to DXY, bullish. Um, UJ, um, still pushing bullish, currently retracing, looks like it's about to turn bearish, but uh, DXY, bullish. AU, bearish. Mm. Setup. I did not take this setup. Um, by the time I went to bed, the price was like right up in here somewhere, or you no, know, it was exactly what it's uh, all out of pointing that I put didn't make it. So um, I took this one out of the queue, and it's almost by the slap TP. But um, I'm gonna go through and start with UJ, get a breakdown of uh, what I saw um, and how I got busy. I have been, this is the only trade I executed on uh, UJ this week. I don't think I took any of these buys just because looking at it, I didn't know potentially what to take profit. Four hours. Yeah, because you got another clean range over here. As long as you take profit, would have been the extremes. So. <clears throat> Um, this trade set up. What I saw was going to the hourly. So going to the hourly, what I had was my NY high was marked up, NY at the low. We already know I only trade Asian to the London. So looking at this, I initially had a shift of structure. I want to say from here to here, like I saw this as a shift instruction, but what I should have been waiting for, I think I took a short over here and got cooked when it pulled back to this right here. But um, this right here, the initial high, the retracement, the retest, the retracement, the uh, stop hunt liquidity grab, however you want to look at it, and then the fallout. So what happened last night was, by the time I got to the Asian, I'd already seen this double top and I saw this big engulfing um, bearish candle. So what I did was take 50% of that um, bearish candle and use it as an entry. I had stops above the NY high, as you see here, but it wasn't enough. In the notes that I left myself, I said, if NY high doesn't hold, look for break and retest type action to create new highs, possibly getting in off the retest. If it does not hold short back to the NY lows, which is exactly what it came back to. <clears throat> and I got stopped out by like, let me see, what was the stop? 670, right, up to 682. Or the third 12 pip or two pip? Take you wise to throw me off sometime with the, with the calculation of the pips. Yeah, so two pips stop. I got stopped out by two pips. Stop out of the stop out. But what I have seen, what I have come to a conclusion this morning, what I'm going to start doing is a 10 pip stop above this NY high instead of, um, I only had a one pip stop pretty much. Let me see. This is 641 and stop. So that's a three, three pip stop above the NY high. So what I'm starting is I'm gonna start putting that uh if I expect this NY high to hold and I expect short to be coming. Hold on one second. 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 Hold on
one second. All right, so um, like I said, I'm gonna start putting my, my, my stops 10 pips above this high. That way I know I have enough range and I won't be um, getting two pips stopped out, you know? Um, I still would like that same entry just because at this point, this is a fake out simply because uh, simply because we faked above these highs and quickly sold back off. And if it will be it will be really tough to try to find an entry past these points because, like I said, this is a fake out. So once you see price action push and close above them highs, it's like would you really be still looking for the shorts? Like I had the shorts in mind because I saw this shift of structure. We got the high with the lower high, so I'm looking for the lower low. But I mean, like I said, you know. Once you've seen this candle close above in real time, you know, would you still be looking for the short? I think this is about to short off again. But um, for the most part, I have the stops right where they are. I got um, stopped out and price continued for my, um, to my TP for 33 pips. Um, on GJ, I had buys over here earlier this week. And that's when I made that video um, that I didn't record. And basically what I saw was this range was created. This is during the um, NY session. It created a support over here. And then this candle was during the Asian session. I was looking for a retest of the support. And then I had buys from this candle all the way up to here. And if we go to the 15 minute, I closed over here once this candle did not break um, this previous 15 minute high. Um, my target was probably like two or three pips above. And I said, okay, well, I got trailing. I had trailing stop down here around about 152, 300. And I saw this bearish candle print. I didn't want it to pull back and, you know, potentially take away from my profits that I already received. So um, I closed over here for about 35 pips. And then that's what it was. I did not take the shorts, even though I knew the shorts were coming based off of this four hour order block over here. I had all that marked up, but since then I have already deleted and um, redone these. Re, re, I've already, I had already deleted and re, remarked up my charts. Um, on the shorts last night, what I saw was this big um, impulse move to the downside. And what I have been noticing is when we do see our very first initial big impulse price, only pulled back by 38.2 retracement. And that's basically the premise behind this short right here, just like this one, this big bull run, um, 38.2 retracement, then continue to the high. Same thing down here, this big bearish run, 38.2 retracement, and then retest um, the lows. This one retest the high. So my theory here was a 38.2 retracement hadn't happened. So as you can see, TP1 was right at that um, retesting the um, retesting the lowest point. So what happened was I put this trade in, eventually went to bed and left it open running. When I came back, we uh, smashed TP. I think I had um, big profits at the uh, NY low, just in case. When I came back, it had to reverse and push back to the top side or something. But um, yeah, I saw price come down. As we got into the Asian session, gave out that Asian high, and I was looking for the low to retest the NY lows, and that's pretty much what I got. Um, we did not hit TP2. There is a resistance that we tapped into back from over here, and we see the reaction from it. So, what I would, um, since we are just now tapping into that resistance, what I would expect is some more, another retracement, another bullish retracement. And then I'm back down to continue bearish if we're going to continue bearish for the week on DJ. Um, the other uh, trade setup that I had on AU, man, oh man, look at that. So sweet, so sweet. And this was pretty much the same thing. I saw the, um, the impulse move, the, 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 the bearish move to the downside, the 382 retracement, and yeah, I got busy. Um, I originally 
had this entry set up exactly right here because it was to target the uh, NY high. And that's why I had the entry and I had the stops. Um, and the stops based off of a candle. That was zone. And I want to say it was for one hour. Yeah, this, this candle right here stopped slightly above. And then I was targeting new lows because that would have been my lower high from this high. And as you can see, TP was smashed for a total of 44 pips. Um, we had nine pip drawdown and the rest is all um, take profit. But I didn't take this trade because by the time I went to bed, price action was over here. So I took it out the queue, like I said, and then now I'm waking up to what would have been in profits. Had JPY, um, we had the shift of structure. Price action have been bullish up until this point. When I got to the charts, uh, looking at it during the Asian, I saw a high, a retest of that high, and it dropped off. This is it all marked up correctly. Well, maybe it is. Today's only, well, yeah, this is not marked up correctly. So by the time I came to the chart, this is where we were at within price action. I saw this retest of this uh, structure here and took the shorts from there. Um, original stops was above this level here. You had the 50% um, cutoff mark. I cut 50% of position. If price closes above that level, it only wicked through. Um, I had not cut 50% when I um, came back over to this chart um, with 26 pips in profit. So I just went ahead and put, um, went ahead and put um, stops at break even. And then, um, yeah, you see what happened. Price came back and um, hit that break even point. Took, about, took the runner out at break even. Secured some pips over here, uh, secured some profits over here at 26 pips, but the runner got stopped out. And we're on the way to, I do think this is gonna continue bearish, but we need to break through this support. Uh, right here at 87.710. That support has been holding for a little while from yesterday's NY all the way to today's NY. So that is a pretty strong support. Um, not sure how it's going to break. I don't know if there's any news today, but um, that would be the first thing I would keep an eye out for if, you know, looking to take a trade. It's out of time. My trading plan right now, so I'm definitely looking for those setups. But if I was, that would be my first thing I would need to see happen was that um, support be broken to continue to test the extreme lows down here. <clears throat> and that's pretty much all I've taken uh, for the week. I don't I don't think Sunday, I don't think I took too many trades. I don't think I took anything on Sunday, if anything. One second. Let me see. This bullish, um, it looks like it's exhausting. So, like I said, what I want to see is price action eventually break this low level here. And then wait for the retest if you want to trade CAD JPY and continue shortening. If this was the Asian going to line up, definitely be looking to act up on this, but it ain't, so I'm not. That's pretty much all I've got for this one. Um, today being Wednesday, don't know how many more profitable setups we will see, but as you know, if they set up, I'm getting in, especially during my time. So uh, that's all I got for this one. Um, like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the youth.